Now in this video, we will cover the aggregation operators. Basically, if I have a result set in which I can perform some operations like calculating the sum, finding the average, counting, getting the maximum or the minimum value. So such things can be done by these aggregation operators. Apart from that, if you want, you can also do some customized aggregate operations in this operators. So let's have a practical implementation of aggregate operators and see what all we can do out here. So here in this implementation of aggregate function as first of all we'll have to do the grouping and we have done that in a very same way as we have done in the grouping. So here again in the employees collection what I have done is I have made the grouping on the base of department ID and that will be a key for this grouping as when you will say GRPS that is groups uh, after the into keyword alright so this GRPS key will bring the value for the department ID and then for the each department I have made some group functions that is sum, average, minimum, maximum, count similarly you can do that all and I have done all those calculations on the basis of the salary so once we are done it will be an anonymous type and the value will be shown in the grid view so I have already added the grid view in the design mode if, as you can see here so now let's execute this one and here you can see like there is department 10, 20, 30, 40 and here all the values like sum, average, minimum and maximum have been displayed so what you need to do is first you will create the collection means any sort of data whether that could be a database as well we will see in the coming videos like how to get the data from the database but here this collection is used as a data source and then according to that we have done the operation so here on the base of department ID that is 10, 20, 30, 40 all the grouping is done and along with that the calculations on the salary is done so this is how you can start working with the aggregate function after the grouping.